Thank you very much, Roberta. Good afternoon to everyone. Um, I guess you have heard my speech and you might have the possibility to have gone or read the political guidelines. Um, so you can imagine this is a very emotional and special moment for me now. I just want to make three very short remarks uh, before moving on to your questions. The first one is a, a more personal remark. I cannot begin without expressing how much I am grateful for the trust and the confidence of the majority of the European Parliament. 401 votes in favour. You recall last, one, last time it was eight votes above the majority, necessary majority. This time it's 41, so much better. And <laughs> this sends a strong message of confidence and I think it's also recognition for the hard work that we carried out together in the last five years within the last mandate. We've spared no effort. We have navigated the most troubled waters that our union has ever faced. And we've kept the course on our long-term European goals. I also want to thank uh, you, Roberta, the group leaders of the Democratic Forces in Parliament and all the MEPs for the excellent cooperation, including during the last mandate but also for the very substantial exchanges we have had over the past two weeks after the elections and now the past two weeks till we um, are here. Um, so I think this is a very good foundation for the next five years and this was, I think, tangible in the debate today. Second, I want to highlight um, that I was very happy to have the opportunity to carry out a real pan-European electoral campaign as you know, it brought me from Helsinki to Lisbon, from Bucharest to Rome, and many different places. I engaged with people from all walks of life, and I enjoyed taking part in a series of the d TV debates we had with the other candidates. I think this makes our European democracy much more vibrant. And finally, let me walk briefly through the next steps indeed. I will focus on building now my team of commissioners for the next five years. In the coming weeks, I will ask leaders to put forward their candidates. I will, as I did last time, write a letter and ask for the proposal of a man and a woman as candidates. Only exception, like last time, when there is an incumbent commissioner that stays. And then I will interview the candidates as of mid-August, and I want to pick the best prepared candidates to share, who share the European commitment. Once again, I will aim for an equal share of men and women at the college table. Um, the new team will get ready for successfully passing then the parliament hearings, and then I will again seek the confirmation of this house. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's now time for a couple of questions. We'd like to be first. Mm. 